Hey, welcome back to Triple R Random Work Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at and review a little bit the Transformers TCG Booster Pack Bundle. This bundle comes with one Rise of Combiners Booster Pack, two War of Cybertron Siege Booster Packs. Uh, I picked it up because I, I like the Siege artwork a lot, so I wanted to see how the cards look. I don't play this game anymore because when it first came out, it was, it was fun. It was very light and it got stale really quick with all the builds that uh, me and a couple friends did. Kind of saw all you're going to see very quickly. Um, had some OP characters, the rares, so I sold those, got my money back for uh, a little bit of the investment I put into it. Uh, the game is okay. Uh, combiners came out, it looked really stupid to me how it worked. Uh, you can look it up online how it works and stuff and see if that's for you. I, I didn't care for it, so I got out of the game at that point. So, saved me a lot of money, so that's good. But I, I was interested in how these look. Um, I've seen like the Siege artwork and like the, the, um, the toys, and they look pretty cool. They're all battle worn and stuff like that. So I'm sure I could have went online and picked it up, but I do have my older cards. So I was like, you know what? I'll just pick up a bundle and have a couple for myself. All right, let's pop it open. All right, let's pop it open here. Do a place to cut. Pretty flimsy box. All right, so Siege. Combiners and Siege. All right, let's get the combiners out of the way. All right, yes. I have no idea who that is. There you go. One uh, character card and seven battle pack, battle cards in each pack. All right, so this is part of Predaking, Ferocious Hunter. It looks like it's part of him. So, whoa, <laughs> okay, uh huh. Yeah, I don't know how this mechanic really works. You have Dive Bomb. Uh, it's pretty glossy, so it's kind of hard to see. So, two attack, seven life, two defense. I guess you transform them, so you use like, like a Hawk. And then when you flip to this mode, your opponent reveals a card at random from their hand. If it's an action, scrap it, so discard it. <laughs> this is all his defense, three attacks, seven life. Uh, I think these guys pretty much are going to hit the KO pile, and then there's like a green tab card that brings them back, and you start laying that your combiner out. And then uh, I guess they combine, and you fight with those guys. So you have that guy. I really don't like that at all. Oh man, that's rough. Okay. Uh, I guess. We can go through the battle cards because I've never seen these before, but why not? Okay, here's a green tab. It com uses a combiner thing as far as I know. Escape route. Flip one of your characters from bottom mode to top top mode. That's handy. Spare parts. I'm not gonna read all the events or uh, actions. So, so see here, commons. And then you have an uncommon. Gerbot and Enigma. It's an action. So it's for Superion. This is uh, made from the aerial bots, it looks like. And another uncommon is Leap of Faith. Scrap the top card of your deck, you may play that card. Let's scrap another card from the top of your deck, you may play that card. Yeah, your team deck can only have 25 stars total. Alright, so there is, to me, an impressive combiner pack. Let's move on to the Siege. Hmm. 
All right, so I think Siege brought in mini cons, maybe? Is that what this thing is? Battle Master arranged. So it's a little character, I guess. Tough three, that's not bad. Three attacking life. Oh, he has zero defense. And he is. It's the Battle Master, whatever that is. Um, so it looks like he probably attached the, like, the character. Raider Warnamuck. Alright, no idea who that is. 5 attack, 13 life, 2 defense. That's not bad. At least it wasn't. When you flip to this mode, draw a card. If you have a runabout on the battlefield, flip him from alt mode to bot mode. Who's this guy? This is... Raider's Manifold. Alright. Alright, this guy's... Uh, Transamp. Four attack, thirteen. All right. So this guy probably would have been a solid car. I don't know what the, the meta is for this game anymore, but it's really good for cars when it started. All right. Let's see. Pair diagnosis plus three attack, not bad. Control drone, look at all these. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what the uncommon is here. Extra patty, tough one. When you put this card in character, you may play an extra patty. <laughs> so, I guess he stack. I got a rare, callous leadership. Move up to five damage counters from one of your Decepticon leaders that has eight stars or more. Up to one of your other characters. Yeah. Whatever. some toys sure okay Raider road hugger three attacks seven life one defense scrap a blue card from your hand one of your characters gets plus three attack until the end of turn okay have this character for your attack here's a car stealth while untapped enemies okay can't attack him Private red alert. Okay, so it was a red alert in the first set, so this is a new red alert, I guess. Medic, three attack, level life, one defense. This attacks and you flip at least these tabs. It's plus three until it return. Ah, oh, it's terrible. When you flip this mode, repair one damage from one of your characters. Oh man. Nah. Not very uh, happy with my booster. Um, Pack bundle here. That's how they get you, right? So you want to buy more and get better cars and whoever this guy is, nobody knows. And a crappier red alert maybe. I guess he has an effect. Nah, Dismantle. Take away a strike. It's pierce. It's kind of a it's kind of an issue in the game. Play some more actions, defense, uncommon rock toss. Do one damage to a tapped enemy. That's actually not bad. Just kind of like a just kill somebody off. For each. What's that? Just tab. Here's one. Okay. Got a rare energy pack. Play only on a character that have 11 stars or more. He has plus four life. I guess that's all right. I guess if you're playing that on like a big guy like Metroplex or whatever, plus four life's fine. I don't, I don't know. Well, after buying this uh, booster pack, I'm glad I don't play this game anymore because this seems. I'm sure the action cards have some use, but these character cards, I I don't think I would ever want to play. There you have it. 
All right. I was unimpressed with that pack. Uh, I didn't enjoy anything I got. I don't like those characters. I, I, I say don't like. I just don't really know them or care about like Private Red Alert. It was just an alternate Red Alert. Um, Raider run amok and the combiners which I said from the go I didn't care for and I really don't like how that folds out at all. So glad I stopped collecting that game. Um, unfortunately I didn't get any what I liked. Uh, it's always a um, chance you take with mystery packs uh, which is kind of why they're more rare and rare and people kind of went to a living card game format a lot of times. So that being said, not liking any of that stuff I got. Uh, I want to end on a better note. So I did mention beforehand these diecast metal series. They make kit. Uh, they've made Ecto One. So I picked this up, up a while ago. So more importantly, they made Car. Car is the superior version of Kit. He's actually the prototype, but he doesn't have any of the weaknesses that Kit does. Um, he doesn't care about protecting human life or any of that stuff. He uh, is actually programmed with self-preservation. So Car is all about Car. Got to respect that. Um, at one time. I guess he ejected his passenger to drop his weight to increase uh, his chance of uh, escape. I mean, that's 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 smart thinking, right? So, he, car is awesome. Two tone Trans Am kit looks good, but my favorite from the show definitely car. <laughs>